Hi everyone, I just bought this uh, new TP-Link AX5400 uh, Wi-Fi 6 router. It's also known as the uh, Archer AX73, which comes with six antennas. It's uh, for Malaysia with high time uh, Maxis. If you have the or PPOE, PPPOE uh, password and uh, username, then it should be easy to set up. So, but before I, I install this, I just want to test the performance with my existing router which came free with my Time uh, 100 Mbps uh, account uh, it does not which does not uh, support Wi-Fi 6 yet so we just want to see how well it works so what I'm going to do is uh, we'll just run some speed tests over the internet and I have uh, my main computer connected via network cable to, to the router at the, at the moment so I'm going to run speed tests on it now and, and see how it's the performance so the modem comes with some pretty good um, features uh, as I mentioned it supports Wi-Fi 6 uh, and it has 6 antennas and from some of the reviews I've read it's supposed to be pretty powerful because um, they have a better CPU than my previous modem, uh, my previous uh, router, and also that it has uh, dedicated four dedicated uh, five gigahertz uh, antennas and two dedicated uh, two point four gigahertz antennas. So hopefully this will give better performance uh, to my connectivity around the house, to my TV and my the TV in my bedroom and also to the different devices uh, my kids connect to uh, the Wi-Fi during their online classes and stuff like that okay so here's my computer so I'm going to start the test now and it should be pretty fast uh, I'm subscribing to 100 Mbps download and upload uh, broadband so I expect it to be around 90 yep as expected we have about 92 mbps for download and yeah looks like about 80 plus for upload uh, the connection is actually connected wired through a I have a switch which uh, splits up to my computer and also my PlayStation. Okay, for Wi-Fi, I'm just going to test it on my phone. I'm actually standing right in front of the router and the, my PC right now. And uh, I'm going to test, do the uh, speed test at different locations around the house. Uh, firstly, in front of the PC now uh, or next just next about about six feet away from the where the router is and then I'm also going into my bedroom my master bedroom which is about I would say 40 feet away and also I'll go outside uh, my door my how my home door and then uh, I'll go next to the lift and they do another um, measurement there for the speed and then I'll repeat this after I, inst I have installed the new TP-Link uh, router and we'll compare so right now I'm getting about 100 oh it's pretty good 105 download and 95.6 upload from this uh, area so I'll publish the uh, results uh, as soon as I have done all the uh, measurements around the house Okay, so the, uh, there's a quick installation guide. Uh, it's just a sheet of paper supplied with the uh, unit. So in here, you, they will, you will find the instructions to uh, connect the hardware and how to set up the network. It's quite straightforward. You need to connect, do the connections, the network connections, power, power it up, and then uh, use the... You, I can either use the link, TP-Link app, or you can just connect to your PC and use the web browser, uh, enter the... Uh, 
um, the address or the uh, IP address and you can uh, communicate with the router and do the setup there so it's very it should be quite pretty straightforward I'll let you know if I go in great into any difficulties but basically just following this um, installation guide should be sufficient um, just to let you see before I hook it up um, basically you just have to connect the power here the WN uh, goes uh, the signal will come in from the um, broadband router and this goes in and then if you have a network in your house wide network you can use these uh, LAN connections to go out so I my TV actually I'm um, sorry my TV and my uh, home PC actually goes through here and also my um, I have a PS4 so I go through these wired connections because they are quite nearby and then uh, Yep, so this is power switch here. It has to uh, make sure it's turned off, connect the power and then uh, all the connections and then you can power it on before uh, setting up the network using the software. Uh, so but basically, um, after setting up the time zone, then you come to this page where you have to select your um, PPOE, PPPOE and you should be able to get this uh, username and password from your internet service provider if, uh, especially if you're using time maxis or i think uh, unify and so on yep so after entering your PPO, pppoe uh, username and password then you can set up your uh, network ssid uh, on this page so you have to just uh, Set, uh, set up everything to your own personal uh, needs uh. okay so I've uh, just uh, finished the connections and set up and uh, these are the results from the speed test I've done on my wired connection to my PC in the hall and I'll do the uh, measurements for Wi-Fi from the uh, various locations around the house and share the data to compare So guys, these are the readings from the uh, from before the old router and the new AX23. You'll be able to see that there's a significant improvement in the uh, speed for uh, uploading and downloading these two columns. So 48.5 upload, 43 download versus 109 and 101 in my from my bedroom, which was uh, previously a, a little bit of a blind spot for some devices and my uh, the tv in my bedroom so i'm pretty happy with the results and um, i guess this has been a good investment for for us and also hopefully it helps with the uh, kids and my wife working at home and studying online and stuff like that so thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe if you can and i'll see you again thank you bye